Welcome to the Craft Tessa, everyone. My name is Vanessa, and on today's DIY video, I'm going to take supplies from the Dollar Tree to make these two Victorian vintage Easter pieces. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, where I post super quick and easy DIYs, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, where I post new videos every week. Now let's get on with today's crafts. So for this project, I'm going to take one of the medium sized uh, plastic egg containers from the Dollar Tree. It is not the large one that they have. It's the one uh, next in size to that one. Uh, and I'm going to paint both of these halves with some Americana decor chalk paint. Uh, it's the one that's in the lace color. I use this one for most of my projects. Uh, I'm going to paint both of these halves, uh, one for each of the pieces that we're going to make. So let's continue in painting these. So now that the paint is dry, I'm going to use one of the halves of the eggs to uh, trace out the shapes on some Dollar Tree foam board. Uh, and I'm going to take my hot knife and I'm going to cut them out. I use a hot knife because it uh, gives a nice clean cut. Uh, and this is what I'm going to use to uh, adhere the images uh, onto these pieces. And then we're going to attach them to the eggs. So let's continue cutting this out. So now that I have both of the foam board pieces cut out, I am going to use Mod Podge uh, to adhere these images that I found online. I traced them also into the egg shape, uh, and now I'm going to uh, Mod Podge them onto the foam board. Uh, you can find images online just by doing a, a search for vintage uh, images or vintage Easter images. I think I got these from uh, the Graphics Fairy dot com so they have um, a lot of images uh, all types that you can get and use for free as long as they are for uh, personal uh, items nothing commercial nothing that you're going to sell so let's continue with this part So now that the Mod Podge has dried, 
Um, as you can see, I actually decided to use another half of a different egg. Um, I wanted uh, the top half for both eggs in order to give it a, a more uh, rounder look. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hot glue the foam board onto the edges of the egg. This way it will give it an appearance um, that it's a full egg and not a half piece. So let's continue with this part. So I molded pieces out of the Crayola Model Magic clay uh, with uh, silicone molds. Both of these things I got on Amazon. I have them linked in previous videos because I tend to use them in, in almost all of my projects. Um, I already laid it out the way I want it to look and now I'm just going to hot glue it uh, to the egg itself. I love the way the Model Magic is, it's easy to work with. Uh, you can work with it much quicker than air dry clay. It doesn't take a long time to dry or it really won't break. Um, so I highly recommend this. So let's continue to glue these pieces to our first egg. For the stand, I'm going to use the shower curtain rings. If you saw my previous um, video that I put out this week uh, with my chinoiserie egg, I did the same exact thing. This actually has become my new favorite way uh, to make the eggs stand. Uh, for this one, I'm going to hot glue two of them and then I'm going to cover it in the same uh, satin beige ribbon uh, that I used for the top of the egg. So all I'm going to do here is just hot glue them and later on I will cover it with ribbon. Let's finish. So I think I didn't hit the record button for this last part but I attached the whole entire egg onto the two shower curtain rings and then I added a satin bow to camouflage those rings. I also added some floral satin embellishments that I had and that's the only thing I did to finish this egg. So this piece is done. Uh, I did a little bit of a, a pearl paint on the clay itself to give it a nice little shimmer. Uh, and that's all that was done to this part of the egg. Let's continue with the next one. I finished this egg off camera and for the base I used one of the glass Dollar Tree candle holders and I added some of these little flowers that I had. 
Uh, for the clay, I used the same Crayola Model Magic. I molded them with the same molds I did the first one. Again, these molds are from Amazon. Uh, and this blue mold is from Michael's. You can find it in the cake section. Now these pieces are ready to display. So I'm really happy with how these two projects turned out. Uh, they look difficult, but it's really not that hard. All of the supplies from the Dollar Tree, along with some clay and molds, which are easily available on Amazon, and they're pretty affordable too. I actually do love the way that they turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching everyone. See you all on my next DIY.